Avaduta is speaking, he says, beyond all speech, beyond all names, beyond the subtlest of all subtle things, beyond mind, intellect and the five senses, the stainless Lord of the universe remains ever one. The self is said to be like the sky. Indeed, it is like the sky. It is pure consciousness without any stain. It is truly the all-embracing whole. It remains unaffected, though it takes the form of air, water, earth and fire. Though it takes all these forms, it remains always the same. All infinite space is pervaded by the Self, but nothing else pervades the Self. It is simultaneously within and without. It cannot be limited or divided in parts. Mm. The subtle images are seen within, and the manifold forms are seen without. But the independent experiencer of both is known by all seers of the inner self. That one who has realized the innate, unborn, incomprehensible self never becomes stained while enjoying the fruits of their desires. This one remains always free of stain, free of karma. The ascetic, concentrated on the self, is never bound, goes beyond illusion, beyond comparison, beyond form, beyond any support, beyond the body and its nourishment beyond duality, fear, desire and powers. It is the Lord, the Self, the Eternal that such a one attains. <laughs> 